All right, now tributes are continuing to pour in for South African radio legend Jeremy Mansfield. The, vet the veteran broadcaster died at the age of 59 in the early hours of yesterday morning after a long battle with liver cancer. Colleagues and South Africans have taken to social media to express their condolences. To reflect more on the life and times of Jeremy Mansfield, we're joined by, uh, virtually now by uh, Ravi Naidu. He's the station manager at the 947 radio station. Ravi, uh, really great to speak to you uh, just to give us some details of how you felt when you heard about the news I know he announced it on August that it was a terminal illness but did, did you expect that he would uh, pass away so soon after that announcement um, well I've actually been in close contact with him over the last um, a couple of months um, fortunate that obviously I worked with Jeremy for a long time uh, but also I've been in contact I think um, when firstly he was initially diagnosed with um, liver cancer and then also he had another infection which was certainly complicating his um, his condition so um i was obviously i wouldn't say as probably as shocked i just think um you know when that moment eventually does happen is when you you know it kind of it, it just hits you so uh it's but i think probably most the most i want to say amazing but certainly the you know that's the personality that jeremy mansfield had uh, in the last you know couple of days he was just so upbeat and, and kind of, you know, accepting of what it is. So it was a, a big shock to the system when I, you know, when I found out in the morning, but I, in a way also quite relieved that he doesn't have to go through the, the pain and suffering that I think he's endured the last couple of months. He had the rude awakening also on 702. He was somebody that, uh, you know, we listened to when we were uh, on our way in, in our cars from wherever we were coming from. Uh, just tell me some of your best memories about Jeremy. Sure. Um, I mean, I think I put this on my social media yesterday. Mm. I had the privilege of one being his colleague and, and the other being his his manager. And I think and, and a colleague uh, was a little upstart that came from KZN, you know, onto this uh, onto this radio station. You know, that stage was 94.7 Highfield State, just being acquired from the SABC. And as this big, bold personality who was the morning show host on uh, on the station the rude awakening mm. so in our drive into Joburg, and there's all these big massive billboards of the rude awakening and jeremy mansfield uh but then to meet this kind of humble person when i came in he kind of treated me just like everybody else you know so um and then you know a year a year and 18 months later i became his uh, manager and i think the um, the type of radio that he created in that space in those early days was just innovative the ideas were quite you know quite brash and quite daring and risky um and uh and i, I mentioned this uh, to uh when i was talking to the guys at 702 yesterday mm. is that he had a line when he walked into a room and he said guys i've got an idea right <laughs> and everybody would start running for the hills because you know that number one it probably is a great idea but it's probably going to take a bit of a mammoth task to try and you know, get it done. So he, he just had that kind of spirit that which is a bit of a can do. And that didn't only come with, you know, great radio ideas, it came with also the goodwill and the spirit that he had as a as an individual always wanting to kind of, uh, you know, to do good to kind of help others as well. And just lastly, Ravi, I mean, some of the things that we'd remember is when he would be with Darren Simpson, busy, uh, you know, pranking people on the radio. Uh, but, uh, you know, just lastly, in terms of the fact that he was only 59 years old and, uh, you know, we are in an industry where a lot of people need some motivation. And so, you know, he was one of those people that probably people could could have still looked up to for advice. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, a lot of um, a lot of the, the current talent on South African radio was, you know, minted in, call it official or unofficial ways. I mean, Anele started her radio career at um, at nine four seven when Jeremy was on breakfast, and I think the amount of time that he gave to her, just in in terms of conversations about what to do, and and bear in mind that you know radio has changed uh, dramatically over the you know the last couple of decades. But I think what st what he stayed true was the fact that he was a fantastic storyteller, and I think he imparted that knowledge into as many people as he. You know, came across. I think recently, as a couple of weeks ago, he he kind of had a bit of a get together with a lot of the radio people in the industry. And when you're in that room and you hear the conversations that go down, 
it was just uh, you know incredible so yeah it's a loss to the to the south african broadcasting and media industry yeah. as somebody who certainly you know gave back in in entertainment and in goodwill and and just being an all around uh, you know a, a great human being so yeah, yeah I, I lost at 59 years old um but you know i think i think he certainly set the benchmark mm. for breakfast radio for um, for a lot of individuals in this country yeah, Ravi, condolences from us uh, at the ENCA family. Ravi Naidu, uh, 947 station manager.